Bunch of kids, you know. <laughs> Madge and I are both rehabilitators. Um, with wildlife rescue, you can people bring in any kind of wild thing that they find. Every time there's a big storm comes through, there's baby birds on the ground all over town. Or they're driving along the highway and they find something, or there's something runs into their window. You can bring us all kinds of birds, but also any kind of mammals or snakes or turtles with cracked shells, or any kind of wild thing. We have a whole network of rehabilitators. When we're raising one of these, we have to be very careful that they don't imprint on us. Because there we are as a parent and we're taking care of them. Some of the birds they use puppets with, so that they're fed out of something that at least looks like what they're supposed to. Um, but it's, it's pretty tricky to do. But the, the raptors definitely are, and the roadrunners really are. You have to be very careful with them because we don't want them thinking they're people. We want them out there living in the wild and reproducing, doing what they're supposed to do. Because we get birds that have been hit by cars, and we get birds that have been run into windows, and there's still some people out there shooting hawks. Uh, all these things happen because of humans. And so the least we can do is try to take care of them and get them back to the wild as much as we can. Because all over, all the birds, the numbers are, are lowering, they're disappearing. If we didn't have them, we'd probably be in mice up to our knees by now. And you know how quickly mice reproduce, so they would just keep. And the rabbits, uh, where I am, we have a, a lot of rabbits, enough to eat everybody's gardens. And so we think we have a, guard, a, a rabbit problem. What we actually have is we don't have enough predators to take care of them. They hunt with their eyes, because they're so big, they can see very low light, but they also hunt with their ears. They have extraordinarily good hearing. And that's why I didn't want any of you kids squealing, because she'd, she'd be upset about that. Um. He flies oh, oh, he can fly, but I'm going to keep him here. If he flew, oh, he'd just fly all around here, and then we'd have to catch him. <laughs> that could be a problem, because he's a really good flyer. He's real fast. He's really fast because he's a falcon. I can run faster. You think? <laughs> well, we won't try it today. I'll take the word for it. I have a question. Yeah. Um, he's big. I seem to eat meat. They eat meat. Absolutely. The, the and they're probably going to find it. Um, maybe a little mouse or a little shrew. But they also eat a lot of bugs. These guys are really good on grasshoppers. Oh, that means he's happy. One of them is imprinted. Do you know what imprinted means? Mm -hmm. Imprinted Whoa. means he thinks he's people. He was stolen out of his nest when he was a baby. And he thinks he's people. He doesn't see another female bird as a suitable mate for him. And if you were out walking in the woods, this bird would come up and come to you for food. He said, boy, there's a lot of neat places I could roost on around here. <laughs> yeah. There was a nice high shelf up there and everything. That's not what you spotted? Yeah, probably. Yeah, oh, yeah. Nice. You spot that shelf. He is also nocturnal. So he sleeps in the daytime and he's out hunting at night. It almost looked like he was trying to go to sleep there. You were holding him really still. <laughs> yeah. He's very His comfortable. His eyes were kind of closing. <laughs> <laughs> He's very comfortable around people. April 25th. It's the last Saturday in April. We're going to have an open house in Wildlife Rescue. It's the only time people can come all through the clinic and see what goes on, what equipment we have. We'll have all of our education birds there. So um, a whole bunch more than these three. We probably get 12 or 15, something like that, all different species. So you can see all of those then. It's at the Rio Grande Nature Center in the state park. Um, so if you happen to be able to combine that with a, a shopping trip or something, you should come on by. It's a pretty neat place. What was the date again? April 25th, the last Saturday.